linear inequalities in two variables. Expressions such as x plus 2y less than or equal to 8 or 3x minus y greater than 6 are what we call linear inequalities in two variables. A solution of a linear inequality in two variables is an ordered pair xy which makes the inequality true. Let's take for example x plus 2y less than or equal to 8. Let's take the ordered pair or use the ordered pair 1 3 where 1 is our x and 3 is our y. We will substitute the values 1 3 in our linear inequality. That means 1 plus 2 times 3 less than or equal to 8. 1 plus 2 times 3 is 6 less than equal to 8. 1 plus 6 is 7 which is less than 8. Therefore, 1 3 is part of the solution set of x plus 2y less than or equal to 8. When we talked about solution sets, solution sets or feasible sets of a linear inequality in two variables is the set of all solutions. That means that the solution set is half plane, which consists of all points. It's either above, below, to the left, or to the right from your boundary line. The boundary line is the line that is halving the whole plane. If the inequality is less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, the boundary line is solid, wherein all the points, which is part of the boundary line, are also solutions to the inequalities. If the inequality is less than or greater than, the boundary line is dotted. That means the points on that line are not part of the solution. A test point can be selected to determine which side of the half plane to be shaded, wherein the shaded region is your solution set. Now let's take for example, again, x plus 2y less than or equal to 8. The first step that we have to do here is that we have to graph x plus 2y less than or equal to 8 as a line. So for you to be able to graph it as a line, we will use the x-intercept and the y-intercept to make it easier. So when x is 0, you have 2y equals 8, you will have y which is equal to 4. When y is 0, you have 2 times 0 equals 8, therefore x is 8. So in this, we need only at least two points for us to be able to graph the line or to draw the line. So therefore, we have when x is 0, our y is 4, and when y is 0, our x is 8. So in graphing this line, you have when x is 0, our y is 4, and when y is 0, our x is 8. And since the inequality is less than or equal to, that means we will have a solid line. So that is a solid line. And then we will find a test point. Let's use 0, 0 as our test point to determine whether this side of the plane will be the solution set. So we will substitute 0 plus 2 times y, which is 2 times 0 is 0, is 0 less than 8. If the answer is yes, therefore, the shaded region or the shaded solution will be the one below the line. So what are the steps in solving linear inequalities in two variables? Step 1 is to graph the boundary line. Step 2, select a test point not on the boundary line and determine if it is a solution. If it is a solution, you shade that side of the line or plane and if it is not the solution, you shade the opposite. Let's take for example, x less than 
2. So since that is x less than 2, that means the line here would be x equals negative 2. Sketching the graph, locate negative 2 in your x-axis. So negative 2 will be there. And since the inequality sign is less than, therefore it will be dotted line or broken line. So since that is broken line and it says that x less than 2, which part or what numbers are less than 2? Less than 2 are the numbers less than 3, negative 3, sorry, negative 4, and so on. Therefore, our shaded region will be on the left side of our boundary line. Let's take another example. Y greater than or equal to 4. So the first step is to graph the boundary line. Y equals 4 is our line. Graphing that, we locate 4 in our y-axis. That's our y-axis. And since the inequality is greater than or equal to, that means that it will be a solid line. And y is greater than or equal to 4. The numbers that are greater than 4 would be 5, 6, 7, and so on. Therefore, our shaded region would be those on top of y greater than or equal to 4. Let's take another example. x minus y greater than 2. So the first step that we have to do is graph the boundary line. So that will be x minus y equals 2. And as I have mentioned, the best way or the fastest way to graph a boundary line is to use the y-intercept or the x-intercept. If x is 0, y would be negative 2. Therefore, if x is 0, y is negative 2. And then we have x minus, when y is 0, that's equal to 2. x is therefore 2. Therefore, x is 2 when y is 0. Now let us graph the line. So when x is 0, y is negative 2. And when y is 0, x is 2. Then you look at the inequality sign. The inequality sign says greater than. Therefore, the line or the boundary line is a broken line or dotted line. The second step is test point. Use 0, 0 as your test point. That's the easiest way. So 0 minus 0 greater than 2. Is 0 greater than 2? 0 is not greater than 2. So since it is not greater than 2, therefore, the shaded region will be the opposite. Again, if the answer to your test point is a yes, that will be the shaded region. If the answer of your test point is a no, such as this, that means you shade the opposite side. Let's take another example. 2x minus y less than or equal to 6. Again, first step is the boundary line. So use your y-intercept. 2x if y is 0 equals 6. 2x equals 6. Therefore, x is 3. That means x is 3 when y is 0. The other one will be when x is 0 minus y equals 6. Negative y equals 6. Therefore, y is negative 6. 
So when x is 0, y is negative 6. And then we graph it. When 3, you have 3, 0, and 0, negative 6. Then you look at the inequality sign. So since it's great, less than or equal to, that will be a solid line. The next step is the test point. Use 0, 0 as your test point. 0, 0 as our test point. So we have 0 minus 0 less than equal to 6. Is 0 less than or equal to 6? If it is a yes, therefore, we shade that side of our inequality. That means all of the points on the shaded region or the shaded plane are all part of the solution set. What if we have two or more? The same thing, the first step is to find the line or graph the boundary line for each equation or inequality. So when x is 0, y is 8, and when y is 0, x is 8. So in our graph, we have 8 and 8. We look at the inequality sign since it says greater than, therefore, it's a broken line. And then the other graph would be, and then the next step before we do the other line would be test point. So we have 0 plus 0 greater than 8. Is 0 greater than 8? If it is a no, therefore, we shade the opposite sign. Then we graph the second point or the second line. You have 2x minus y less than or equal to 7. So we have 2x minus y equal to 7, which is our boundary line. If x is 0, y is negative 7. If y is 0, x is 7 over 2, which is your 3.5. Then we locate it in our graph. We have when x is 0, y is negative 7. And when y is 0, x will be somewhere 3.5. So then you look at the inequality sign. The inequality sign says less than or equal to 7. Therefore, this is a solid line. And then we test it using 0, 0. So we have 0 minus 0 less than or equal to 7. Is 0 less than 7? If it is a yes, therefore, we shade the side where 0, 0 is. Therefore, our solution here will be where both have common shaded area. Therefore, anything on this side will be the solution set for both inequalities. I hope you have learned something today from our Maths Easy episode about graphing linear inequalities in two variables. And before anything else, before we end our episode today, please do not forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as Teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy series. Bye!